Howdy, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today on Skillet Sundays, we're gonna be cooking up a fall favorite with chicken and dumplings. We're gonna be using a Dutch oven for this instead of a cast iron skillet. You're also gonna need quite a few ingredients and you can kind of cater it for things that you like or dislike. But you'll need some chicken breast or chicken thighs, about a pound and a half or so. You'll need some minced garlic, some ground thyme, ground sage, a bay leaf or two, some rosemary, salt, pepper, and I'm gonna use some Everglade seasoning for the chicken. You'll need about a tablespoon or two of butter. For the dumplings, I'm gonna use buttermilk biscuits. You can make your own dumplings if you want. For the sake of time in this video, we're just gonna use the biscuits. You'll need some celery, some carrots, frozen peas, a potato, an onion. We're gonna go ahead and mince the onion up and not have it diced like I normally would. You'll need some chicken broth, some heavy cream, and a little bit of olive oil. Let's go ahead and get started cooking. You're gonna to wanna to start by cooking the chicken a little bit, so we'll add a little bit of olive oil over medium high heat. Once your pan is hot, you'll wanna go ahead and add your chicken. I'm gonna cook about half at a time because that's what fills the skillet. You can go ahead and use your seasoning for the chicken. Here I'm using Everglades All Seasons. And you'll wanna cook this till it's not pink anymore. I would slightly keep it undercooked because it's gonna mix in with the rest of the ingredients and cook a little bit more as well. So once your chicken starts cooking through, you can remove it to a different plate. Add the rest of your chicken. Next you'll add a little bit more olive oil and you can add the potatoes. So once you cook the potatoes up a little bit, you'll add your celery, carrots, and onion. And you can go ahead and add a bay leaf or two in there as well. And you'll want to saute these until they get a little soft. So next you'll want to go ahead and add a little bit of garlic, probably a couple teaspoons. So now you can go ahead and add your half a teaspoon of thyme, half a teaspoon of sage, half a teaspoon of pepper, a half a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of rosemary. And mix that up. Next you'll add four cups of chicken broth. So you can go ahead and put a lid over this and let the contents come to a simmer. Once it's at a simmer, you can add your biscuits that you've cut up into smaller pieces. You'll probably end up only using about six of the eight biscuits in there. Just kind of depends how many dumplings you really want. You can go ahead and add the chicken back in as well and mix it all together. At this point, you'll turn it down to medium low and cover and you'll cook it for about 10 to 15 minutes until your dumplings and chicken are cooked all the way through. After 15 minutes, you can take the lid off. You can test to see if the biscuits are done with a toothpick. It should come out clean, so it looks like we're good. And then I'll add a cup of frozen peas, and then you'll add a half a cup of heavy cream, and go ahead and stir that. When you do this, go ahead and get some of these dumplings on the bottom up to the top and make sure they're cooked all the way through as well. You'll cover and let cook for another three to five minutes. After five minutes, you can remove the lid, stir it up a little bit. If you want, you can go ahead and give it a taste and see if you need to add any salt or pepper. Otherwise, you can go ahead and serve. I hope you enjoyed this skillet Sunday recipe. Happy fall.